Do you want to see Shenmue get completed? Join fans around the world in the Shenmue 4 Tweetathon on the 4th of every month. Simply tweet out the hashtag Let's Get Shenmue 4. Visit ShenmueDojo.com for more information. Shenmue 4. Just saying that title strikes a part of me that I cannot explain. For the better half of 20 years, us fans have been theorizing and discussing the events of Shenmue's story after Shenmue 2. The endless possibilities of where the story is going and the new characters we may meet has always been such an arcane secret. Mystery, if you will. A mystery that has puzzled me personally for nearly 20 years. Now that Shenmue 3 has laid the groundwork for the future of the series, and Shenmue 4 is up next, it got me thinking as to which storyline elements would be interesting to see, yet still fit within the context of a Shenmue 4 in the modern day of game development. So let's begin. Wyasnet, if you're watching this, I hope it may be a good resource while working on the Shenmue 4 story if you indeed are. In no specific order, here are four storyline elements I want to see in Shenmue 4. The first storyline element I want to see in Shenmue 4 is regarding the Chi Yuomen, specifically two sub-items. The first one being to flesh out Niao Sun more, and the second one being to introduce either Gente or Kote into the mix. Let me explain. According to older resources of information, Niao Sun is a much deeper character than unknowing players may think.長寿。In Shenmue 3, we see her in disguise, and also as her true nature of being manipulative and ruthless. But did you know that Niao Sun is also a master of martial arts? She is specifically a master of Tang Lang Chuan, which is an art that uses techniques similar to that of a praying mantis, which is very fitting for her character. For Niao Sun, I'd like to see her manipulative side fleshed out a bit more, and also get to see her training in her art. Since we now know that she is wanting to betray Landi in an effort to likely take over the Chiyu men, it would kind of be neat to see her fighting style versus Tiger Swallow style. As for Kote and Gente, I want to see them for a specific few reasons. For one, because they have been such a mystery and kept secret by Shenmue's development team, whereas Niao Sun was very much known about from the start due to pre-release promotional content. A quick summary for those who may not know, Kote and Gente like Landi and Niao Sun, are also cardinal leaders of the Chiyu men. Kote is the ruler of the west and represented by a white tiger, whereas Gente is ruler of the north and is represented by the black tortoise. I don't have too much to say on these two characters as we know next to nothing about them, but that's why I want to see them, to learn more about them and the workings of the Chiyu men, but also to know whether or not they still exist in the story or were retconned. 
As for Tente, the Heavenly Leader, more on that in a future video, I don't think he would show up in a Shenmue 4, as Tente feels more like end story stuff and probably wouldn't show up till the final games anyway, like maybe a Shenmue 5 or 6. The next storyline element I would like to see is related to Shenhua. A few sub-items in this one as well, let me explain again. Throughout the story of Shenmue, Shenhua is shown to be a visual and story representation of mysticism, mysticism being one of the key themes of Shenmue as a whole, specifically the end and the bad ending of Shenmue 2, as well as two scenes in Shenmue 3 make this quite clear alongside the interview with Shenmue Master as well. In the communities, we seem to agree that Shenhua has more going on than the player is allowed to know. That brings me to my item here. I want to see more situations where it is clear that Shenhua is more than meets the eye. More scenes like the one with Yang Ling in Shenmue 3. No need to outright tell the player what is going on, as I think implying this theme is more powerful as a storyline medium. Telling the player outright what Shenhua is all about kind of feels like a storyline element best saved for the later games, in my opinion. So maybe it doesn't really need to be in Shenmue 4. As much as I want to know, I don't want to be told prematurely. As a side note, if Shenhua truly has mystical powers, let's say, as a gameplay mechanic, it would be cool to see Shenhua manipulate people, or even the player, based upon their relationship status with Shenhua. I feel like the cancel affinity system for Shenmue 3 could be a cool way to do this. If Shenhua doesn't like you, she may use her abilities to manipulate you. Kind of like how she does to Ren when she meets him literally after Ryo telling her outright that he is a bad guy. This brings me to another sub-item regarding Shenhua. One thing that is a bit confusing as an English-speaking player of Shenmue is in regards to Shenhua's parents. Mind you, I also speak enough Japanese to play Shenmue 1, 2, and 3 in Japanese. No subtitles. However, let me explain. I love using that phrase. <laughs> In Shenmue 2, there's a cutscene where we see Shenhua being named by her biological parents. At least, that's what's implied. This cutscene, honestly, is a topic for another time because there's so much to talk about. It is then understood by the player that Yuen is her stepfather slash caretaker, kind of like Ine-san is to Ryo. Not a parent specifically by definition, but a parental figure for the character. However, in Shenmue 3, it seems that Yuen has been called her father, and the only thing stated about Shenhua's real parents is about her mother and her saying that Yuen told her she isn't ready to know about what happened to her mom. But what about her dad? Is he retconned? And Yuen is truly her dad now? I would like to have this storyline element fleshed out and officially confirmed. The third element I would think could be cool to see in Shenmue 4 is a bit of backstory to Lan Di and Su Ming Zhao's relationship. I always felt Shenmue has a sense of duality, such as Ryo wanting revenge just like Lan Di did. So seeing Lan Di as a kid and how his relationship with his father was would be an interesting execution of this theme of duality and drive a bit of empathy into the player in regards to Lan Di. I feel like this would follow the ideas in place for Shenmue 2, where the player is taught the same lessons as Ryo through the gameplay mechanics of the scenes related to the Four Wudu quest in Wanzai. In this case, the player will begin to feel the calming of the need of revenge just like Ryo in the final sections of Shenmue 2. And the final storyline element I'd really like to see in Shenmue 4 is actually a more of like a tool for the player rather than an executed storyline element in the game. What I mean by that is simply I want to know what from the previous games and materials over the years are confirmed to still be canon to the story. Shenmue's story and its history is filled with so much detail yet so much mystery surrounding those details that honestly, in the modern day, and as someone who studies the lore of Shenmue a lot, like really more than I should, <laughs> um, it's just impossible to know what is merely a concept and what truly is what the games were trying to tell. As a theorist-minded fan, I would really appreciate this. It would put my mind at ease for once. If I may, let me suggest some ways to do this. 
The first way would literally be a video of Yu Suzuki explaining in detail what the canon timeline of Shenmue consists of, starting with Iwao traveling to China all the way to the end of Shenmue 3, kind of like a digest video for a Shenmue 4. And the other way this can be done is by setting up some sort of encyclopedia, whether physical or digital, kind of like how Konami did with the Metal Gear Solid 4 database for PlayStation 3, a literal program that acts as a source of information for everything related to the Shenmue story up to the end of Shenmue 4. You could think of it kind of like a sequel to Shenmue Passport. That would be really cool. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a blast writing this script, despite it got me thinking deeply about Shenmue, which for me is a hard pit to get out of. <laughs> I'm sure I could speak for most of us when I say that I can't wait to see Shenmue 4 happen. The state of Shenmue feels like a dream these days, with how the decades long wait has been. Despite Shenmue 4 being unconfirmed at the moment, one thing for sure is understood. Shenmue's story is legendary. And as always, thanks for watching.